are you mateys uh, you uh, internet denizens and degenerates out there got a great tutorial for those of you who use open source uh, um, be it uh, 13.2 whatever version or it's humbleweed I'm a big fan of Arch Linux and the AUR and I love installing packages from the terminal I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, YAST so called one click installer uh, it's just not good so I want to install packages and in the terminal and have it to be quick easy and done and you have some options available to you so there's a package uh, that you have to install first called osc plugin install once you go from there I'll show you how to do it now depending on what you install it's going to show you like a bunch of repositories that you can use and and the versions of those so you can get the latest version or you can go stable you can do it how you want to do it which is really nice so osc i n opera dash beta ah your username slash password not configured yet so i'm gonna go ahead and set up mine this is exactly what's gonna happen when you first set up yours so now like I said before, depending on what you install, there's going to be a raft of repositories. So, it is, there's already one right here for Opera Beta, and so it shows it for me automatically based upon what I'm using. So, enter my root password. Let's see if I can type it in properly. A to add the repo. Um, hit enter and say no. And depending on when it wants you to add the repo or not, uh, I will ask you for your password again. Still better than the uh, yeah so called one click installer so continue yes and it goes and grabs the package doing this little thing taking a little too long for my taste but uh, depends on the repository and where they're pulling the package from so go ahead and hurry up like I said um, I'd say the open source build service has the second uh, I guess it comes as second as far as uh, you know applications availability package selection um, AUR is just number one some people think that Ubuntu is number one but really honestly the PPA suck I, I was a I was a big Ubuntu fan back in the days uh, from around Dapper to around Maverick and then around Maverick after that I sort of jumped ship after the next one after that one and so I sort of floated between Arch Linux and OpenSUSE and I still float but uh, sure Ubuntu being the big boy on the block has a lot of package selection but the PPA sucks and every time uh, Ubuntu goes up a version. Your PPAs are gonna just be hosed. You're not. It's not gonna be doable. And so I'm. I'm gonna give OpenSUSE's build service, build services package selection, um, the sort of second notch as far as package availability. You can find what you're looking for. The only time I can't find what I'm looking for is some obscure theme. Uh, that I have to go and find it a gnome look or whatever have you. So really. It, it does the job for me, and as you can tell, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, the OpenSUSE build service is very powerful. You can build packages, and you don't have to even worry about repositories and all that. But repositories are good, so you keep getting updates. So if if I install Opera Beta with the repository because it asked me to add it or not add it, um, if I add the repository, I keep getting updates, so you stay up to date. So really, it's up to your preference and how you run it and how you like it. But the OpenSUSE build service is awesome. It is not as awesome as the AUR. The AUR is just godly. My only problem with the AUR sometimes is that uh, it fails to install stuff for a variety of reasons, a bevy of reasons. But nevertheless, it is awesome. This is almost awesome. It's almost there. It's almost there. It, it's 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 almost at the sweet spot, but not just yet. And that's really how you can kind of wrap up OpenSUSE is like it's it's almost awesome what can I say well uh, I will give you the links and everything else on how to install this and um, go at it man have fun with this now I will say that um, the uh, 
developer of this is says it's going to update this uh, if people offer you know offer up some issues whatever have you and so I think I have one issue but otherwise I, I love it and you can also if, if you don't like this you could just go to the open build service and add the repo and then install from terminal anyway so you have options you don't have to use the yast whatever the hell the hell the hell uh, I'll show you the other way to do it so opera beta so you don't have to use the yes whatever 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 now yeah let's see okay this is the same repo that it pulled from when I did it through the uh, build services uh, plugin installer so you click on that this is how you do it from terminal the other way now this way is not as fast <laughs> but uh, it's not bad you pick your uh, operating system you have options here whether you can go through the so-called one-click installer or you can add the repo and install manually and it's only three steps for God's sakes okay I mean really you could build some sort of uh, uh, you could create a bash alias a zish alias and you could do this fairly easily so all it is is zipper add repo and the repo will link uh, the refresh the, the uh, repositories and install Opera Beta it's pretty straightforward, so you could do that too through terminal as well. So you do have options. The thing that's great about OpenSUSE is that there is some some great hand holding there for new users, but power users, the power is there. It's just under the hood. You got to get under the hood, baby. You know, and, and check out the horsepower. So it's all there for you and available. Let me some OpenSUSE. Let me some Arch Linux, and I'm gone. We'll do this again.